Okay, this is just a quick overview on what it's like to slice a data port. This is, excuse me, just after you get the slicing ability, so you will not have access to all of the subroutines. See on the bottom where it says slicing subroutines? There's three subroutines that you can ultimately upgrade the ability to do. Memory expansion is available pretty much like right now as soon as you complete the needs. It's on the list. If you go into Isla, it's the last one on the right. If you complete this, this will then allow the memory expansion subroutine to be active. The other two need other upgrades that I haven't gotten to yet because they're still not, not available. Because it would be nice because this syntax sorting will auto place all of the yellow ones to the blue spots. And this one will remove some of the unused glyphs. But I haven't even figured out how to upgrade those yet. Um, when I do figure it out, I will put it in the description. Because I'm sure I'll come obviously come across it at some point. But you, these are not available when you first get the slicing capability. But for the most part, it's similar to the basics. Um, the main difference is the glyphs are now grouped together. You can see the blue track lines connect certain glyphs together and they form a group. Either one or none of the glyphs that you need to complete the hack will be in that group. You'll never have a group that has two. It either has none or one. So see here, there's that one, that one, that one, that one, and this one. These five are all connected by lines. So that's one group. So we'll pick one glyph from there. And then this, it, these are two are connected, so I'll pick one from there. And these are all connected, these four, so I'll click one from there. And then these five are connected, so I'll click one from there. So this yellow one, it cleared everything else out from that same linked group. And it's a shame I can't move the cursor onto those boxes, but you can see that's why those are blank. So now we'll try that in the first slot, just for kicks. And then we'll try that one. And then we'll try the other half of that group. And then we'll try another one from this group. Okay. Try that in the second spot. Try another one from that group and another one from this bottom group. Okay. One from there and that. Nice. And there you go. And so there's more credits. So that's pretty much how that works. Just pay attention to the groups and then pick one from each group. And that's sort of like your starting point. And then the rest of it's very similar.